Former two-time World Player of the Year Ronaldinho is interested to play in the Malaysian Super League and it is for free. That is, if he is really free without other commitments. The Brazilian superstar who announced his retirement from playing in January said he is pressed for time managing a football academy as well as his new career as a magician, making it difficult for him to make a comeback to football. Ronaldinho is in Malaysia as part of the UEFA Champions League Trophy Tour organized by Heineken. About 300 Malaysian fans turned up at the shopping complex in Kuala Lumpur today to see the 38-year-old Brazilian who used to play for Barcelona, AC Milan and Paris SG. Acho lindo é, levar o troféu é, em países, em lugares onde o povo não tem acesso ao troféu da Champions League, então a Heineken dando essa oportunidade, então acho maravilhoso e adoro participar. I think it's great. I love to participate. I love this opportunity of bringing the trophy to all parts of the world to players that don't don't see the trophy all the time, and I always love to participate. Okay, as we all know that uh, right now Barcelona already won in the first leg against uh, AC Milan for AS, AS Roma 4-1. So, <coughs> do, do you believe that uh, Barcelona have a bright chance to, to go through in the semi-final also final? And which team is the best team we play in the final? Você acha que o Barcelona tem chance de ir para a semifinal e para as finais? E com que time você gostaria que o Barcelona, que o Barcelona jogasse na final? Olha, eu não, não imagino assim uma, uma final, porque todas as equipes estão ali, são né, de alto nível, mas eu acredito que o Barcelona tem tudo para chegar a ser campeão. I don't picture exactly a, the final teams in my mind because I think all of those teams are heavyweights. They all have a good chance to go to the finals, but I do believe Barcelona has a, a great chance of going to the finals. Just now, outside, you mentioned about Messi, right? So, can you tell a little, little bit uh, more describe about Messi? Why you love him? <coughs> why you want to, to play against, uh, play with him in the, in the, on the same ground? Você falou do Messi na entrevista. Pode falar um pouco mais por que você gosta tanto do Messi? Por que você gostaria de jogar mais com ele no campo? Porque, uma, porque vi o começo da carreira dele, né, sei do tamanho, do, do talento dele, né, e pela amizade, por tudo que a gente tem, né, um dos jogadores que está na atividade hoje que eu gostaria de ter jogado mais tempo. Well, uh, because I witnessed the beginning of his career, I see him grow, and also because of our friendship, uh, I, it's it's one of the players that I, I I like to watch and I love to play again because of that. Can you share with us right now what you're doing? Actually, what he's doing? Or oh. After, after you're not you're not playing in a very competitive game. So right now, what is your 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 I mean your main your main uh, hobbies or what? Okay, agora que você não está jogando mais, quais são o que você anda fazendo? Quais são seus projetos? Projetos tem muitos, né? Mas é, tem a minha escolinha de futebol, Ronaldinho Soccer Academy, né, que meu sonho é levar ela para o mundo todo, né, retribuindo ao futebol tudo aquilo que ele me deu, dando oportunidade a jovens que sonham a chegar a ser jogador profissionais. Então, música, que é a minha segunda paixão, onde agora começa um projeto novo, né, com um evento de música rodando o mundo, né, com a Heineken, que eu adoro fazer, então são muitos projetos. I have many projects. One of them is my soccer academy for kids called Ronaldinho Soccer Academy, which I intend to bring to the world. I love to give the opportunity for kids to give back what soccer has given to me and to give the opportunity for kids to become professional players. I also, I'm also very involved with music. Uh, I make music and I have a musical project that I take around the Red Ring around the world. And also the Heineken events are something I really enjoy. And that you sing the song or you... you Você, o seu projeto musical você canta? Também. Also. <laughs> Can you sing a little bit? Just... No, no, no. Cantar aqui não. Só no show. Only in the concert. Only in the concert. <laughs> Alright. Okay. World Cup will, will, will be held in uh, June after this. Uh, World Cup. So, what do you think about Brazil's chance in the uh... Quais são as chances do Brazil nessa Copa? O Brasil tem chances muito grandes né, de, de fazer uma, uma grande Copa do Mundo, de brigar pelo título. 
né, uma equipe de jovens com muito talento, um grande treinador. Então vejo o Brasil chegando muito forte. I think Brazil has great chances this year. Uh, we, see, we have a very strong team, we have a great coach. Uh, we have real chances of fighting for the title. Uh, I think it's, that's it. It's a great. With Neymar right now, he's still having an injury, still in the recovery station. So do you believe that he can he can uh, play in the first game? Well, Neymar is in recuperation. Do you believe that he will be able to play in the first game? I believe that yes. The recuperation of him is going very well. So I believe that he will have time to prepare very well and to get very well in the World Cup. I believe so. His recovery is going fast. I think he will have plenty of time to recover and to prepare himself to go to the cup to play here. Okay. Just now you mentioned about you are interested to play in Malaysia League. Even though I know you are joking, but can you share with us why you want to play in the Malaysia League and how much you will cost them? Well, uh, você falou que gostaria de jogar no clube, no clube da Malásia, com jogadores malásios, por exemplo. Mas eu sei que é, que é apenas uma, uma uma brincadeira, mas uh, por que você tem vontade de jogar com o clube Malásio e quanto você custaria para o clube Malásio? Não, não é brincadeira, eu falei mesmo pelo amor que eu vejo que o povo daqui tem pelo futebol. Então, qualquer jogador gostaria de jogar né, onde as pessoas amam o futebol. E para mim, em especial, porque aqui me tratam com muito carinho. Então, eu me sinto em casa aqui. Então, era um, um dos lugares onde eu poderia viver sem problema nenhum. Então... Né, não, acho que eu gostaria de jogar até de graça aqui porque eu me sinto em casa. It wasn't really a joke actually. I would love to have played here when I was playing because it's a place where people love football and people treat me very well. So we always like to play in places like this. I feel at home here. So I would I, I would have loved to have played in the Malaysian team at some point in my career and maybe I would even do it for free. <laughs> Seriously for free? Okay, my last question. Before this, Pablo Aima also played here. And he's one of the big, biggest name in Malaysia to play here. So maybe Pablo Aima, Pablo Aima, Argentina, Argentina, yes, big friend. Yeah, 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 your big friend. Personal. So can you, maybe you want to follow him, or you, you still, or uh, what makes maybe one day what makes you will come here again? Repeat the question again, please. Sir. Okay, Pablo Aima, as you all know that he he play in Malaysian league, okay. so. Maybe one day Ronaldinho will follow his step to play here. Então, Pablo, Pablo jogou aqui no time grande, no time Malásio, então talvez um dia você pudesse ter seguido os passos dele. Olha, de verdade nunca teve essa essa oportunidade, entendeu? Porque eu tive sempre, né, trabalhando muito nos outros clubes que tive chance. Pablo Aymar um grande jogador, nos conhecemos desde de pequeno, sempre jogando contra categorias de base. Então, um grande jogador, acho que né, para o povo daqui deve ter sido uma grande alegria vê-lo jogar. O Pablo é um grande jogador, eu conheço ele desde muito tempo, nós jogamos juntos como crianças, contra os outros, mas eu nunca tive a oportunidade de seguir os passos, porque eu sempre estava tão ocupado com os outros clubes que eu estava envolvido, mas eu estou seguro que ele trouxe muita felicidade para a Malásia.